Out at sea, divers are preparing a test dive of a new submersible called Titan. If the tests are a success, Titan will take a crew of five people 4,000 metres deep into the ocean next year. Out here, we're, this is really focused on one thing, and that's the pressure vessel and making sure that that, that component, which is clearly the most critical component of the sub, uh, is uh, safe and capable of handling uh, depths down to 4,000 metres repeatedly with uh, people on board. The Titan's destination will be the wreck of the Titanic in the northern Atlantic Ocean. The researchers hope Titan will be able to survey the sea floor to produce a 3D model of the ship and document the ecosystem of flora and fauna at the site. The Titan has successfully submerged to 4,000 metres unmanned and the next test will be a piloted run. There are amazing natural resources, uh, hydrothermal vents uh, exist in that 4,000 you know, range. Uh, so these are huge ecosystems of essentially alien life forms, extremophiles as they're called. Uh, there are vast mineral resources. Uh, there's molybdenum and other rare earth minerals, oil, gas, um, and in fact precious uh, uh, gems as well. So there's some amazing things throughout the ocean and a lot of those occur in that sort of three to four uh, up to 6,000 uh, range. The Titan's ability to reach such depths and withstand water pressure lies in how carbon fibre is wound onto its hull mould. So we don't have to worry about uh, vibration being wiggling um, a little bit more weight over here than over here, so we don't worry about bending so much. It's really uniform compression. And because it's uniform compression, the, the properties of the carbon fibre that are in tension and extremely strong are really what, what keep it from moving and so our particular design um, is the appropriate stiffness for the loads that we're going to. There are already plans for the next version of the submersible with the goal of reaching 6,000 metres below the surface which would enable exploration of 98% of the ocean floor.